Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to part two of Man and Madan. I am so excited. I'm having no break in between this episode and the previous episode because I'm just so excited to see where this story goes. In last, in last episode we obviously met our five characters and we ended up going on like this dive. We came across some fishermen who didn't seem very friendly. Conrad started making it rain. It was really awkward, really disrespectful and um there's an engagement and we also had the basis of the ship Man of Medan where these people died because this little boy was running around petrifying people and there's also a monster running around on the ship. So there's just a lot going on. I have a feeling this episode we're gonna end up on the ship of Man of Medan. Maybe we'll see where it goes. Either way, I'm really excited. So guys, let's get into the gameplay. God, here we go, guys. Um, let's um, gag the captain first. Get me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? <laughs> I'm gonna ask the news first. You're <laughs> such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Um, let's untie her. It'd be Guys, handy get to have us untied, right? Or untie both of us. Either way. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Ah! Go 
God, he's so mad. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. What do you want? What do you fuckers want? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Please. Just stop, man. I'm not gonna antagonize them. Okay, witty, reckless, impatient, guarded, relaxed, foolhardy. Um, our relationship with Brad has increased a little bit. Fliss, it's the same. Alex, it's the same, I think. <gasps> Literally, if this is me in a situation, I'll just be like, okay, okay, I'm not okay. gonna aggravate him in the slightest. Okay. Julia, you're coming back. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? I'm sure he's fine. No. He's he'd be fine, okay? Right, I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. I mean, I wouldn't say it was dismissive. It was more reassuring that it was going to be okay. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. That's quick. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine, they didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. No! Julia. Not the it's okay. ring. It's okay. They just want money, clearly. Well, it was nice when it lasted, right, guys? Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. The likelihood is they would have found the ring anyway.
They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. I can get on that boat. I can do if it. You can distract them. I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Two, three, four, five. What the hell are you thinking? Conrad, just get to the boat. I may have best time to that. I've always got to be on six. Okay, we can do this, comrade. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. Keep calm, okay? Just gotta keep calm. No. Leave the knife, escape, escape. Uh, focusing you on the what? boat, right? I've had enough. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! <clears throat> oh god, we're gonna get someone killed. I fucked it, I panicked. I panicked. Oh no, I screwed it up. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. I can't believe that. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. No. Maybe it's a good thing we're all together, right, guys? Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Conrad is beating up pretty bad compared to everyone else. But where's... where's, um, Brad? What the hell, man? You should have escaped when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! We were only talking. There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Flitz has gotta be in on this. She and these guys... They travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. How dare you? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? So rude. How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap and you set us that up. asshole. What a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. We're trying. You, come with me. Hey, 
Leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Radio, everything okay? Over. How about the storm? Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. when you least expect it. Psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Here it is, guys. The ship. Same ship. There's someone died there, I remember. In a previous episode, someone jumped off the boat into that little boat and died. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Really? Oh, somehow we kept everyone alive. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Mm-hmm. Forewarning is forearmed. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably. 
probably shouldn't have said that. I have no idea what he could mean by that though. Everything is not entirely as it seems. I'm not sure what to take from that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Is it open? Oh, okay, I, th I thought I thought Brad would be down there. I don't know what that cap does. I think it means we can't escape. Go. <laughs> Okay, we're controlling Conrad right now. Cet endroit, c'est un foutu cimetière. J'espère qu'on est les seuls ici. Oh là là, au bout This whole place is a floating death trap. Breathe, Alice. Breathe. It's okay. Everything's fine. I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. <sighs> Something about this place is making my hair stick up. The so mask far of madness. want money but like just oh, freaking ask yeah. for it and then be done oh shit oh my god i'm so jumpy what's that on the table To Private O'Neill, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again, conveniently. It's always when he has guard duties in hold 3A. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. Man, this place is so creepy. Watson, you're in port to see. Okay, all of you. Into the room. You just locked us in here. Are you joking? Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. <laughs>
the hell is this fucking place? An abandoned ship. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. You gonna write a book about it? Maybe. Give him a break, Fliss. He needs one. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, it's dangerous here. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. What is a distributor cap? I have no so, idea. Okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Oh, really, Alex? Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. We should forgive Allow him, me really. To he's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Mm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Emotions were high. Cool. We were in danger. Cool. I don't blame him for freaking out, but he definitely shouldn't have taken out on Fliss. Okay, what's this? Mm. Ooh, a vent. Let's find something to break that bad boy open with. Some glasses? Real, real creepy. They're like the tiniest glasses ever. What do you think this ship was? Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Oh, that's so sad. I wonder why this was ripped off. A oh, puppy. Je vais aller explorer la salle des machines. Attendez, tu fous les soutes. Les soutes T'es sérieux T'as vu l'endroit Ça tombe en ruine au sol. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que. Fais ce que je te dis. Je 
je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. Okay. Oswald seems a bit like a dick, but the other two definitely seem more reasonable. They don't want to be here, but Oswald is definitely like, no, we're, we're fucking, we're doing this. You managed to find a way. Yeah. Need some help? Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. It can't be worse. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Go hear us, won't they? This. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. I'm definitely hearing some like, well not, not hearing, I'm definitely seeing some frame rate drops so far. Hey! Yeah, you, Long John Silver and shit, uh, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces! Yeah, no you, I'm gonna rip your pirate tears off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow colored stew! I'm warning you, I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personal. <laughs> Good distraction. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? Okay, okay, you're done with distracting now. Hurry up. Can we put it back? Okay, we're all still alive so far. Good. Are we safe now? Probably not. Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Look at that. I love where the demo plays. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Okay, what's in here? Extra guard duty regulations. Due to the special security precautions on this mission, additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments, up to and including court martial. By order of Captain Ford. Guys, nobody's allowed to 3A. Seriously, nobody. Okay, I feel like we should be avoiding 3A. Just, you know, like a little gut feeling that I have is that we should be avoiding 3A. <gasps> oh my god. Guys, I'm so scared. But we need to explore every everything. And there's the mystery of the smelly socks punching briefs. Because if we miss something, it could really fuck us up later on. So we need to explore everything. Useful came with that. Are you sure there's nothing in here? Okay, there really is nothing useful in there. Brilliant. <sighs> Sorry if I just burst all your eardrums there. There's probably more where that came from. I recommend not wearing headphones for this playthrough. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck was that? 
Nah, there was someone there. There was a hundred percent someone there. A, a sailor girl. There was a sailor bitch there. No, she's gone. Am I imagining things? No, I swear, guys, she was there. I'm not seeing things. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. <sighs> okay. Where's the you are here arrow? Cargo hold 2 is out of bounds. That didn't scare me. Fuck you, game. That didn't scare me. Guys, I actually think I'm tripping balls. I don't know if I saw someone there or not. When I go back and edit this, I need to double check. Because I'm freaking out a bit. Can I speak to her? No. Which way do we want to go? Do we want to go this way or do we want to go in here? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. What's this? Dear Alice, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Natty to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land and there's no escape from it. I've been alright because I got your letters to keep me going. They censored them, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. And that was it. It's sad that all these people are excited about going home to see their families and then they never got to go home. I'm scared. Why are the toilets broken? I'm not freaked out, you're freaked out. Okay, I'm just gonna... <sighs> okay. I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? Maybe it's all Brad who's doing this. Yes, it's good as mine. You hear that? Uh-huh. By that, you mean the terrifying sound? Then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. I saw something shiny. Ooh. Frame rate drops. I am so freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. What is this place? Engine room? Well, is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cap back. If we're ever gonna get out of here. Just a, a block of something? Oh no, it's a book. I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary weld welding repairs. I advise the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement can cause the ship to break its back. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioned recently. I discovered growth of tin whiskers around some of the components. A cleaning added led to the, sol the solders, which had stopped the equipment sort shorting out and should slow down the growth. Oh wait, I didn't read all of it. I think I can turn the page. Hang on, comrade, can we pick up that again? I closed it a bit too quick. <laughs> I conducted a thorough Engineers weekly low. engine room inspection You're of totally fuel, oil fucked. and fluid which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than I expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant when the, with the hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there are any loss of pressure. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. 
Lightning strikes cause a lot of electrical arc arching traveling through hoisting cables aloft deck which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's like the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage, however I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. Okay, I think that was it. Can we turn the page anymore? No, that was it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Oh, this is nice. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. What's this? Is it a baby skull? Like a baby bird skull? We have to check everything, guys. The skipper was carried. The, the skipper has carried the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There's a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a fellow who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird maybe, but he said that there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holes just right, real precise, not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. It got me thinking, what could be in those boxes? Booze was a bum lost, Perez said he felt drunk after four, cu four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on six to check it out. I told one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. I'm gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. It's all off. The guy who's gonna help me go get in the hold has been signed off sick. Dog Philly thinks he's some kind of flake, which might be true. But Miller said it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Press said the boys made more hooch. Too bummed out to sneak and try some. But what else is there to do? News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listened to any damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Last night I was on duty to Wallowix. And goddamn if he didn't creep me out. He got spooked and started babbling about some s sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckoned that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes, travelling home just like our saps. I sneaked to look and Jesus, there it was. Just like the guy in the port had said. All laid out real nice. Old glory over each one. If it's Jones is in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He'd make sure we all come. So we're sort of getting like with some backstory on who these guys might be in the coffins. So far it's not looking good. A picture. What the fuck? That's Alex being like beaten to shit by the by the evil captain on the other with the uh, fisherman. Uh, which way? Is this way? No. Turn the torch off, turn the torch off. Shh, everyone quiet. <sighs> Is 
That's what we need. He's leaving it there as bait, surely. I'm gonna go get it. I don't think that's a good idea. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. We gotta take the chance. Okay. Keep an eye out. God, she's not even wearing any shoes. Flesh, you idiot! God damn it, they're taking place! Shut the fuck up, man! Where are the others? Knew it was a trap! Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas! Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Oh man, she shouldn't have gone! I knew it was a trap. He wouldn't have just left it there, would he? That's just dumb. Okay. Well, what are we doing? I thought we're we another man them. down. Gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Oh, okay. Now playing as Alex. God, to all crew, Area 7 c has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Okay, that's a bit weird, but... If he wants to be religious, I guess he can. I've been jump scared in a while, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Can we go this way? Nope, just some boxes and stuff, I think. Just really want to make sure I don't miss anything. Doesn't seem to be anything down here. But I just want them all to survive, guys. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, Have we? I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? When Not did we go through the kitchen? Moving. Pretty sure we've never been through a kitchen before. But there might be a weapon in here we can use. Oh god. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Hey babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. I have a feeling Alex being a doctor is going to come in handy later as well. Probably going to have to be patching some people up, right? Sweet 
Jesus. God. Alex, what is it? It's nothing. It's nothing. Nothing. You don't want to know. What? What does that mean? Why aren't you telling me? It was gross. Hey, according to this, today is beef casserole. Mmm, lovely. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Yeah, it does seem like that, but I, it must have happened in like a really short period of time, right? Literally, if I asked them, I'd be looking for friggin' weapons. There we go. Take the knife and keep it. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. We need it. We might need it. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. This is gonna bite me in the ass later. <sighs> so many consequences. Okay, I think I've searched everything in the kitchen. Let's move on. I feel like it's better to have a knife just in case than, you know, to not have a knife. If you get mud rift. Alright, now what is this place? The dining room? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Probably just a rat. Probably just a rat, isn't it, guys? We haven't been at sea long and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best of what we got, I'm sure, but man, I kill for something fresh. First thing I'm going to do when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. Everyone on the US papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe. There's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain's has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. Some of the guys had a little resting competition in one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I did you should be disqualified on account of his size, but no dice. It would take a whole crowd of people to pin him down. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. I'm sure that the cargo we have in the hold has something to do with what... Uh, what blah, blah, blah. I'm sure the cargo we have in the hold has something to do... No! <laughs> Actually, not the controller. Go back, go back. Third time lucky. I'm sure the cargo we have in the hold has something to do with the squad that went missing. Their leader, Jones, had a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from Manchurian Child Emperor. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. I don't know if they found them, but they never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. So it is to do with the Manchurian gold, guys. It's always to do with the Manchurian gold. Oh, another picture. Whew, let's go have a look, shall we? Brad getting stabbed. Cut of your jib. Maybe we shouldn't have taken that knife. Maybe we're gonna have to <laughs> it's gonna get used against us somehow. Oh no. Really, Julia? This isn't right. What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. It's probably just rats, okay? Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! I'm not laughing at you! Jesus. Okay, so... How... Someone was still excited. So our relationship with Brad's gone up. Comrade... They've all increased from the beginning a little bit. We've done all the right... Th oh god, yeah. Fliss hasn't been so good, but with everyone else I think we've been okay, generally, with Alex's relationship with them. We've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Who would you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. Yeah, Julie's the 
breathe. Just take a second, go. Have a breath. We're all trying to figure this shit out. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. <gasps> no, it's the coffins! Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? It is crappy. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. You gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? <sighs> my heart's beating so fast right now. <sighs> okay. Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think Brian stuck Carter. in a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Don't open it! What the fuck? Is this even human? Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. It's got two heads, guys! It's got Ow. two heads! Leave, leave, leave! Okay, opening them is probably not the best idea, but I'm curious, okay? I got to know! <laughs> Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Okay, don't make jokes like that, Julia, because that's gonna happen. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Well, that's one way to end a relationship. No, the music changed. Guys, the music changed. Something moved behind us. What's the matter? Shh. Something's moving. Something's moving. Please be a rat, please be a rat. <laughs> what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? What the hell? It's just a pot? That was definitely a head! Oh my god, I actually feel sick with nerves right now. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. Everything's gonna be fine, guys, okay? Everything gonna be fine. What's making that sound? What's that? Nah, you're fucking with me. Why so spick and span? Is that another dead body on the bed with two heads? What? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. I'm not fucking around, Julia! How's he still, like... N oh my god. How's he not disintegrated? Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Any medicine we find in here is gonna be old. Way out of date. What is it? Conrad, take a couple of these. Hey. Where'd you go? Uh, looking for a second opinion? Hey, where'd Conrad go? Julia, this is not a time to fuck around, man! Where did Conrad go? Get in some air. Conrad! Oh, I hate this. Guys, I actually hate this. I'm freaking out real bad right now.
my mouth's gonna dry. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. We shouldn't be shouting either though. Connie! She's gonna draw the other guys over. Shh, quiet. Shh, shh, quiet. I can shout if I want. Connie! Where the hell did he go? It's the captain of the other of the fisherman. He's after us. <laughs> This is horrible. I'm enjoying it, but oh my god, I didn't expect to be this terrified. I forgot how horrifying it is to play a game like this. Because I haven't played Until Dawn in years. And to know all of your actions have consequences, and you don't know what's coming around the corner, and they're so good with the jump scares. Oh, I love rats, so. Okay, here's Fliss. Where are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you? I don't think even he knows where we're going. He's just leading us about because he's too scared to go by himself. Wait, what the fuck was that? Okay, it's just a hook hanging from the ceiling. Okay, we're good. We are good. You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? Come on. Rude. I was trying to explore, but whatever. Stop. Where are we supposed to go? I think through here. Danny boy freaked out over it. <laughs> These fucking places cursed. Right? We should leave, right, Danny? Danny boy. Hi. Look at this. NG Madan. Okay, we're missing three. Hopefully I haven't missed them out. 
I've tried to be like as thorough as I can. What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! <laughs> Please, you don't have to do this. Jesus! Oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Thanks for that, Danny. You have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Appreciate the vote and confidence, sir. <laughs> Love that for us. Okay. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. Screaming corpse. Fuck. Olsen. Merde. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? What was that? Okay, that was a hand. That was a hand. On the wall. <clears throat> you really want to let me look at the photo? You bitch. C'est quoi ce bordel? Was he freaking out? Danny, what's going on? I actually sort of liked Danny out of all the fishermen. He was probably one of the least assholy ones, right? Okay, looks like some sort of cult was going on down here as well. Do we just go backwards? Danny like freaked out. Danny. He's like completely disappeared. Man, these angles they're throwing at us are like so scary. There's a vent here. Oh God! <laughs> okay. Just need to take a minute to breathe. Okay. Fuck. Guys, I'm stressed. This is so scary. The jump scares they've got on really friggin' point so far. Good old fear of the unknown, am I right, guys? Oh, no. 
That can be a good sign. Please, no! <laughs> Fliss, okay. We're courageous. We're strong, independent women. We got this. Okay. Okay, guys. Nothing bad is gonna happen to us. Nothing bad. We're just exploring. We're exploring. There's just some metal squeaking on, you know? Just some metal squeaking. Nothing bad is gonna happen to us or to Fliss. Everything's fine. There's nothing down here. There's no such things as ghosts or paranormal stuff. Everything is fine. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we have a knife. That makes me feel a bit more comfortable. Not great. But a bit more comfortable. Jesus Christ, these angles, man. Oh, Jesus. Wait, this is where all these guys what died, right? This is the room. Be Charlie or something. No, I wanted to look at that more. Charles, yep, Charlie. Hey guys, I'm gonna end the episode there. I need to take a little break before I play anymore. I'm still gonna play some more today, but for now, I should take a little bit of a break. My hands are really sweaty. I just, oh, you know, I just, I just need a bit of a breather because this game is honestly really terrifying. The jump scares are so good. The story is really good. Like I wanna keep playing to find out what happens, but oh my God, it's just so scary. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen as well. I feel like it's a massive fear of the unknown. Like when people say you're scared of the dark, they say you're not scared of the dark, you're scared of the unknown and what could be in the dark. This is definitely what this game is about. I have no idea what's going on. People disappearing. We don't know where um, Brad is. Comrades disappeared. You know, like it's just, it's all up in the air. I don't know what's going on, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, remember to smash that like button. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me which part scared you the most, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.